Today, we take a look at the Copperhead Hot End from Slice Engineering. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. Hey everybody, welcome to The Edge of Tech, where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. So while I was at Earth this year, I got a sneak peek of the Copperhead by Slice Engineering. They actually debuted it at Earth, and uh, I was able to see it in the booth in person, and it is super cool. I liked it so much, I jumped on Kickstarter and I backed it right away. And today, we're gonna open the package I got because the Kickstarter Copperhead by Slice Engineering has finally arrived. Now, I was an early backer on the Kickstarter. I got in on the $99 early bird special, which came with everything I needed to do a clean build with the Copperhead. So my package came yesterday. I cut the top off so we could do this video, but I have not opened it. I have not looked inside, and I've not seen how everything has come. I wanted to go through that with you today on camera, and at the end of this, we have a special question just for you guys watching, so stay tuned. So my package came yesterday, and it came in this padded envelope. Inside that envelope, we have a packing list of everything that came with it. We have some specific Copperhead Slice Engineering stickers. It came with a heat block, came with a Copperhead heat break, it came with a heat sink, it came with a fan, and I opted for the 24 volt. It came with some thermal paste, it came with a high temp thermistor, and a heater cartridge. While I haven't tested this yet and I haven't put it on a printer, we're gonna to get to that in a second, I wanted to pull a couple of the pieces out and put it together so you get an idea of what it's actually gonna look like. I hope you can see that when it's all put together, uh, minus the thermistor and heat cartridge, it'll look like this. So it's actually really cool looking and I think it'll look great on any printer we put it on. While this video is meant to be a very quick unpackaging of the copperhead that I got from Slice Engineering uh, due to their Kickstarter that I backed early on, um, I wanted to throw it out there. What printer should I put this on? I'll put a poll up and we'll look at that poll and I'll put it on the printer that gets the most votes. So don't forget to vote. The cool thing about this is it's an open source hot end. Uh, it, it's gonna be a really cool thing to see how many people take this and put it on all the different style printers. They make the mounts and the brackets and everything that needs to be done. And it's gonna be awesome to see what people do with these now that they're getting into our hands. I do know there's a few out there and people have been playing with them already, but now that they're out to the masses, let's see what can be done. If you got a copperhead and you're gonna put it on a printer, let me know in the comments below. Better yet, go to Twitter, put a picture up of your new hot end on the printer, call it the copperhead by Slice Engineering and give it the hashtag of hot makes. And we'll feature it on our Monday night show called Hot Makes. But I want to see what you do with the Copperhead because I really think it's going to be a great hot end. It is lightweight, it is sturdy, and I can't wait to test it on one of my printers. Don't forget to vote in the poll as to what printer we put this on. And I look forward to getting that video out. Well, I hope you guys learned something today. I know this was a quick unboxing, but as always, keep printing. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Uh, with a like, hit that subscribe button below and the little bell right over here. And don't forget to stay tuned for the install video of the Copperhead by Slice Engineering. Check that out. 